हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज सोपनील एंड वेलकम टू लर्न एस एपी अबैक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर कंटिन्यूस सपोर्ट एंड सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी योर डिबगिंग कॉन्सेप्ट सो दिस डिबगिंग वीडियो सेशन इज बेसिकली फॉर बिगनर हु हैव स्टार्टेड योर जर्नी इन एस एपी अबैप एंड इफ यू आर एन एक्सपीरियंस डेवलपर यू कैन ऑल्सो वॉच दिस वीडियो एंड यून शेयर योर थॉट एंड सजेशन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो ओके सो आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन एवरी थिंग अबाउट द डिबगिंग इन दिस डिबगिंग सीरीज एंड आई विल ट्राई टू अपलोड अ वीडियो इन अ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पार्ट सो दैट एवरी थिंग कैन बी कवर फ्रॉम द बेसिस टू एडवांस रिलेटेड टू डिबगिंग कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो कंप्लीटली टू लर्न द समथिंग न्यू ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू आर द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन माई चैनल एंड यू स्टिल डिड एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस दी बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ तो मोर अपकमिंग वीडियोज ओके and please join my technical channel and please join my telegram channel also to get the notification of video so link you can find in the video description okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching learn sap app okay so as i already uh, said like uh, today we are going to see the concept of the debugging okay so concept of the debugging and some uh, useful tips and tricks okay so let's understand uh, what is the debugging and how and where we can you know start the debugging So, what is the debugging? How and where to start the debugging process in SAP? So, before going with the session, so we'll give the you know a quick recap. What are the th- points that we are going to cover in this session for today? So, these are the topic that we are going to cover in this session. Uh, so, function key that uh, you might have already uh, already learn about this thing in your training or uh, training session. So, I hope you all are already familiar with this uh, function keys because most of the uh, app app job is you know based depend on these four keys only. Then, what is the static breakpoint, session breakpoint, external breakpoint, watch point, and then even I will you know uh, tell you uh, inform uh, uh, tell you how you know uh, to uh, dump how to analyze the dump issues. Uh, even how to debug you know background job if there are any background job getting failed and how we can you know uh, debug that background job also even some tra- uh, uh, transaction rfc debugging uh, and then again i will show you how you can you know debug the standard messages uh, i will show you in that you know standard transaction how you can debug how you can identify the root code of the issue so that is the agenda for the today session okay so these are the topic that we are going to cover in this uh, today session Uh, moving to the next, uh, we'll start with the uh, first. I will show, give you some uh, theoretical idea. Uh, theoretical, what is the debugging and why we need to use the debugging. Then I will, you know, most of the part I will show in the system as a practical. Okay, so that you will also get some idea in case if you are facing any kind of the issue, challenges. Then you can, you know, uh, just uh, uh, take the reference of this one so that you will get the idea how you can, you know, find out the root cause of the issues and all. so what is the debugging basically so debugging uh, is a process to identify the problem in the system okay uh, so either you can correct the problem and find the you know work around for the business and if you are find any uh, uh, work around then even you can you know fix this issue and test the problem so that is it is a we need for the debug uh, debug and the, the next is how and where to start the debugging process so basically uh, first is understand the flow of the program if you want to Uh, no what is the functionality of the program so in that case uh, you need to you know debug uh, debug you need to debug the process you can check the program also but in some cases you can you know you are not able to identify uh, so you can you know you need to understand the flow of the program so you can debug the process and even you to uh, even if you have to find out how the specific value are getting populated in that case also you need to you know debug this uh, de- debug the programs and all even the different behavior of the similar business data that means let's suppose you have a two different system quality and the production but the uh, user is saying the quality we have some you know uh, is the working uh, beha- for the same be similar business data quality in quality the uh, system is behaving differently and the production system is behaving differently so in this case also you need to you know debug the uh, debug the process then expected event stop is not triggered that mean like uh, if there is you know if you are creating any sales order or the purchase order if uh, and if there should uh, there there is there should be one mail should be triggered but it is not uh, triggering in any case then in that case also you need to debug the uh, start the debug process and even if you are getting some short dumps and all so these are the all point where we need to you know start the debugging processes okay then moving ahead with the next uh, okay this is a simple technique so now uh, you uh, already know right how we can start the debug and all so these are the say uh, point, like there are three way to start the debugging slash h even we can set the breakpoint and notepad file also we'll show you in the later on how we can debug 
and second is where to keep the breakpoint so we have a, a different different program function module call program and messages so in that place we can you know keep our breakpoint to debug and which breakpoint and it is also depend which at the which breakpoint we need to identify which breakpoint we have to build whether we have to put the external breakpoint and whether we have to put the session breakpoint that one also we know we need have we have to think and we need to put uh, the say, breakpoint accordingly then what is the drive uh, for the entire drive uh, for this entire debugging session uh, these are the four as i already informed you these are the four key that uh, that is going to you know uh, we we are we have to use all these four key only i hope everyone is uh, aware about this four keys right f5 f6 f7 f8 yes 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 okay yes so okay fine good then the okay fine let me go to my system we'll start with this function key first this is a basic thing i think if everyone is all already have the idea so we'll give you know show, show you uh, quickly what is that uh, let me go to the system uh, it's suggest debug okay so here as you can see how this is just a simple program okay it's not a complex let me, okay so you can see i am just calculating there i will first show you the selection screen there are two number and i just operator we, we are just doing the summation of the two number okay but for this i have just you know uh, create one call function also okay this is a function in this function model there's nothing but this is a calculation is happening okay inside this one and last i am just displaying the data okay so as you already know right what is our f5 f6 f7 f8 so we'll queue again tell you quickly f5 in the sense the uh, code will get executed line by line if uh, for let's suppose you put the debugger here the, the this particular, particular statement get triggered and again for this one it will go inside this and it will execute all this line and again it will come back come out and it will uh, execute next line so for the f5 or oh, one uh, all the line will get executed for the f6 f6 in the sense if you want to uh debug the code line let's suppose there is some function module uh, method and even some uh, subroutines if you want to if you don't want to check what's happening what is happening inside this but uh, but if you want to you know execute that particular set of block so in that case you can use the f6 directly okay you without going inside the function one without checking what is happening inside this function module or method or anything okay and f7 in the sense if you already have inside this function module and if you and if you check how the calculation is happening and after that you don't want to you know check other rest of the code let's suppose there are other code also you don't want to check that so in that case you can directly create the f7 and you can directly come out from the fm and it will execute the rest of the lines and then f8 in the sense uh wherever you are if uh, from that point if you press the f8 so it will directly execute it will give you the output so this is the basic you already know right okay any doubt so far no, no, right? okay so next i will talk about what is a sesh uh, uh what is a static breakpoint anyone know what is a static breakpoint uh we'll write break hyphen point in the code itself exactly so there are two way uh, to you know write the static breakpoint so i will show here let's suppose i will try here breakpoint okay so breakpoint if i will write the breakpoint so whenever we will execute this code particular code so without putting any session or the external breakpoint program will automatically stop in this particular place okay but it is not recommended for to write in this inside the program okay there are two ways as i said break or otherwise break then your user yes, i am just writing my user 296 okay so these are the two way you can write the break either you can use this or you can use it but it is not recommended to write inside the code okay hey, can anyone tell me what will happen if we write and if we send this in the quality or production actually it is Please. user independent whenever someone executes the code it automatically stop, stops at this line and it goes into debugging correct so that is that it is not recommended to you know if it is a dummy program then it is fine then you can use but make sure that whenever you will transport this into college or production you will remove this one okay if we don't want this thing so this is a static breakpoint actually okay fine so next uh, uh, session breakpoint and uh, external session so as you can see here this is our session breakpoint and external so what is the difference between session breakpoint and the external breakpoint Anyone know what is the difference? 
actually uh, external breakpoint is valid for two hours even we log out and log in uh, it will appear in session breakpoint uh, if we log out and log in again the breakpoint will not appear and if you want to debug the code from external application uh, then we go for external breakpoint exactly uh, for other also uh, let's suppose we have this uh, session uh, i have said this session uh, session breakpoint is nothing but it's a attached to user session and it will it will be valid until user closes the system okay so let's suppose i have put the session breakpoint here let's activate this if i press the uh, session breakpoint here and if i will you know open the another window then also the session breakpoint will be valid here unless and until i will close the sap system okay but in case of external breakpoint it will always be there because let's suppose if i will activate uh, put the external breakpoint here as you can see the at the bottom i am getting the message the breakpoint set for the external and it is valid for two hours okay so it's a valid for two hours that means uh, if you log out and then log in also then also you can see this breakpoint is still there okay let's suppose i will log out the, from here yes and if i will again log in in the system you can see the breakpoint is still there but it's the but it is not in the same case for the session breakpoint once you log out and log in second session breakpoint will not be there okay and uh, the session breakpoint it's used for the you know internal uh, ones, uh, we can if you want to uh, let me remove this uh, for the session breakpoint it's used for the internal purpose means the internal code you want to debug then and for the external breakpoint uh, let's suppose there are some RFC is getting called RFC or there are some you know application uh, uh, there, are, uh, there is some particular function model which is getting called from other system or from the other like browser or something like that so in that case we have to put the session breakpoint okay uh, so i will tell you also the how we can you know put the session breakpoint later on okay so is it clear still now yes yeah. yes okay fine so now uh, we'll go into the next okay as of now i will just uh, comment this one can anyone tell me what is a watch point? Anyone know what is a watch point? Conditional breakpoint it is. Sorry? It is kind of conditional so breakpoint. It is basically used inside a link. To monitor the evaluation of variables yeah. like internal tables and working. Exactly. It's so I will tell you. Monitoring the yeah, variables. Sure. First of all, I will show you from the debugging how the value is getting uh, calculated in this count. Okay. So let's suppose. So as you yeah, this is a simple code I have written. You can see here count ten. So whenever I will press the F5, 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 so it will just count. Okay, right? Uh, how the count is getting incremented, right? By one. Okay, so you can see one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So again and again I'm pressing F5, F5, F5. Uh, it is you know it is a key when uh, it is getting count is getting increased but now let's suppose i have uh, some condition inside this okay if lv count if lv count is equal to uh, let's suppose 50 okay and here something is happening inside this okay something is happening inside this okay so how we can check uh, we have to check this one okay so let's suppose i will actually count is 55 and something happened so if i will execute so now let's suppose this is the normal case we are we have 50 uh, some uh, uh, someone will also you know press the f5 also okay for the 50 time but in the actual scenario you will get the you know from the internet you will get the thousands of data and let's suppose you have to find the record what is the record is placed at the 500 of the record so in that case it's not possible for you right to debug one line for f5 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 for every time right you have to check directly what's happening what is you will get the count at that particular place for it for this example is the lv count is equal to you can see lv count as a zero zero okay but now i don't want to you know execute this for the 49 time i directly want to check the 59 line and rest of the thing i need to check the code so how we can check so for that why we have a concept called watch point as you can see the conditional uh, watch conditional work point also for this so here if i will select and will click on the watch point so here you have to click watch point you can just write count is equal to 50 okay so now 
if i will press directly f7 or f uh, f7 or f8 so it will uh, so you can, at the bottom as of now you can see watch point created right but if i will press the f8 directly so you can see the watch point reach right and you can see what is the value it's contained in lv count it's a 50 right so that means uh, it it has no, uh, that means i don't need to press the f5 f5 for 49 times right directly it will give the value of the 50 after that we can start the checking the code okay what is happening inside this uh, after this line okay so uh, like that you know you can directly check uh, how it's uh, working but i will also tell you how the watch point will work why when we will check the example with the standard transaction also okay that time also you will get some more idea on this okay so any doubt so far no sir. no doubts no okay so oh friend you like this video if you like this video then please press the like button below uh, if you have any doubt then please write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about ABAP then please visit to my website www.learnacbabap.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming videos so friend bye signing out